So now we are going to see Musa as a sandbag versus Dummy as Diddy. Um, this is gonna be very interesting because both players are more like neutral base, but but like um, Domini Domi oh. is in general better uh, player. Yeah. But uh, Moza is more consistent, so yeah. let's see how that goes. Oh, the f the fast string is this chic. Pretty even right now. So um, Moza likes, likes to approach with side B. Um, it's pretty safe, but not always. Yeah. Um, so Domi should find a way uh, to punish his side piece. Yep. Um, and yeah. And he gets the grab up, up throw back air. Yeah. Domi is also very playing very patiently, which is important to for playing against uh, Bayonetta because, like, she can witch time you out of anything. Like, and if she gets the witch time, she can kill you with. So many things. Up smash, F smash, so many. Kill moves. Um. Oh, and the back air kills Bayonetta. Oh, the momentum reverse. Oh, good SDI from Domi. Jab, jab to grab. Very nice. I would like to see that more often um, because it's sometimes it's a frame trap and it can even kill opponents and can lead into combos but sometimes it's very risky um, especially if you have a very fast move like Nair um, you can get out of it pretty good Hello beautiful people, I am officially out of the tournament, which means I have time to commentate. Hey. What do we have, Musa and Domi? At 0-0 yeah. the score? Uh, 0-0, zero, zero, yes. Yeah. And right now, Domi with an advantage, I see. How's, yeah. How has neutral been this game? Um, Domini is dominating, but like, it's not, it's like not that bad, but... Oh, and the up smash yeah. barely yeah. takes it. That's the second time we've seen red flashes, ladies and gentlemen. And oh, the third time... and he falls out of up smash. SDI or falling out. <laughs> Either way, it's good for Musa, right? Yeah. Oh, the... the z I, I call it zero uh, edge guards. You place like a banana on, on the ledge and then you spam neutral B. Yeah. So Randon is joining us too. So, right now, Domi with a dominating lead, as it seems. Um, these guys are... But that's not winner's round two, is it? It, it? it is winner's round two. Wow, okay. Did not expect it, actually. <coughs> so they must have been waiting as quite some time for a match. Uh, it's actually really nice to see that Domi knows this matchup, even though he was on such a long hiatus. Like... Uh, Bayonetta doesn't like the Diddy matchup at all, but still, you need to practice that. Which time, SDI, there's so many things to Yeah, SDI is especially important in that matchup. Because if you don't know how to SDI your combos... Uh, You're just gonna die. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> nice forward there by Domi, keeping Mauser off stage. Oh. And uh, just can't. nothing combos anymore with this character. I mean, it's sometimes weird because... Sometimes you can SDI out of her combos, but sometimes it's, uh, it's just to me, but it doesn't work sometimes. Well, but I guess I just suck at SDI. So. Domi's backer ends the game, which means game one goes to him. One more game left for him to finish up and join losers round three, which is uh, winners round three, which is already winner's semi-final.
So uh, I mean, I didn't, I didn't see much of the match, so I can't say what Musa was doing wrong. So yeah, I mean, the matchup is not good for. By the I mean, I know she needs to put in a lot more work compared to the Diddy Kong. Mm -hmm. I mean, Diddy can just oh, stay music safe. Oh, music counter up. I'm yeah. going on here. Diddy can stay safe. He can put it out his banana and just camp in his shield because banana doesn't get much out of her grabs. Yeah, that's true. The afro is good, but that you need to put 160% on your yeah, enemy right. before it becomes really good. <laughs> yeah, and Dreamland, it's just for killing, but not for comboing, so... Now, I think that Dreamland is actually also really good for Diddy Kong. I mean, but on which stages, or which stages are not really good for Diddy Kong? So, <laughs> I mean... Well, it's, it's true, you're right. They played game one on Omega or Smashville? I think it was, uh, it was um, FD. Yeah. Yeah. It was FD, yeah. Yeah, right now actually seems to be a real even game so far, but as with so many games, the most important factor will be who gets that first frag, who gets the first stock out of his enemy. We've seen so many matches where you just didn't get any comeback possibility. And it's it's rare, right? But with Diddy Kong, it's especially difficult to make a comeback. Oh, no. the witch time! Oh, no. No. Oh, no. oh, oh, hit enough <laughs> song. But it's like the Doctor Tan. I didn't see that before. That was actually awesome. Yeah, really. Like yeah. props to Domi. That was so creative. Uh, Musa still he he deals with it, and that's also admirable. That just yeah. okay. First S match went wrong, but just seeing the situation, that's good. Mm -hmm. Well done, here. Sometimes the appeal of Bayonetta just looks scary because when you SDI out of it, you, you fly so high. Yeah, that happens, man. And right now, Musa with a big advantage as long as he keeps on, uh, holds onto the stock. And I think that oh, was no. a misinput. That's something that Musa does a lot. Oh. Nice upper combo there. Yeah, Domi evens the game out. That's actually something that Musa does a lot. He tries to downwards angle side BU. And then just a witch time comes out. It's, I, oh, I, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's definitely not just it like a random classic. read. Because mm -hmm. I've talked to him about it. And it really frustrates this guy. So I hope actually that he doesn't let it get to his head. Mm. Holds on to the well. banana. I wonder if Bayonet has any good banana combos. I mean, the neutral should be in Diddy's favor, but Musa is doing a really great job keeping it even, even in neutral. Yeah, honestly, he's lacking in his advantage state, though. He, yeah. could, he doesn't get a lot of damage off of his conversion. Oh, nice well, which time. time! Oh, yeah, not oh, too much of a conversion. Yeah. Domi doesn't get to punish, though. That's good. I so. feel like Musa should be throwing Domi more off stage. Yeah. Because a neutral air could um, kill the, could get the um, um, rocket thing. Um, <laughs> the barrel. Wow, the nice combo! On the oh, awesome. Starts at Three seventy percent and then kills him. That's amazing. Yeah. What I would like to see more from Musa are actually down tilts and back airs in the neutral. Yes, yeah, space and right. He's so. he's he's relying on reads, in my opinion, to mm -hmm. win the neutral, and it's working right now as long as he gets that read. The question is, will Domi adapt to it? Because if he adapts, then that's a very difficult style to play. Nice oh, down tilt into up smash, not quite enough. Builds up the range of Musa, and that's dangerous. Uh -oh. no. Domi misses the grab. Up tilt. Oh, oh can he get uh, that up can Oh, 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 oh yeah, you can. Can. Two star. Yo, what did just happen? Like. Well, it seems like Dream when worked I, out when for I'm him. When I'm seeing yeah, things like this, I think Bayonet has pre-patch again. It's funny if you think about it, but if this was pre-patch, everybody would say, Oh, how lame, Bayonet. But now it's hype. Everybody gets hyped if, <laughs> <laughs> if you see such a combo. Yeah, because it isn't true anymore. I mean, in that case, it was definitely true. Yeah. I mean, he, he could have SDI'd out of it, but he didn't, yeah. and therefore he got it. Nice, man. So, Domi also has a Luigi, but I don't think he'll switch. Yeah. I think Diddy is the right answer here. Yeah, pick definitely. your own stage this time, don't mess up. And Town and City, City interesting. could be dangerous though. Because, I don't know, Dreamland was already pretty good for Musa with the lower ceiling. But maybe he just wants more space to... Yeah, yeah well the platforms are not as lenient here as they are in Dreamland. Yeah, but I mean, the stage is just wider. So he has more space. Yeah. 
dash grabs not really working out for Domi right now. Uh, that was a miss yeah, right yeah, there. Right. That's that's what I mean. That's unfortunate. I mean, it seems like he likes to land with the downwards after burner kick. Yeah, that's true. But when you, s I think when you <coughs> see that it's not working out because you're flubbing the inputs, you should just stop and yeah. maybe find another way to land. Or yeah. Speaking of landing. I believe Domi is actually doing a really good job of covering those landings of Yeah, himself. right. And I feel like both players are a little bit scared of each other right now. Yeah. Right? Uh, last game, Musa seemed a little bit more uh, reckless. He just went mm -hmm. in for a lot of these things and he and gets another combo. Oh, nice air ah, dodge. Nice gets error. out of the up air. That was super clutch and important. And. Yeah, it's still that even right now. Both of these players know it's game free. That's the last game they get. The loser is sent to loser's bracket. The winner oh, moves on to winner's bracket. semi-final to actually face oh! Rob. Wow, wow. Musa wow. messes up a that... little bit there, I believe. I think he could have still hit the edge. That's frustrating. That's but it's not that big of a loss if you SD at 120%. Yeah, yeah right, but yeah, it's, uh... it, it's okay. I mean, you could have gotten banana F smash. If you... Die at zero, that's terrible. Oh, and he gets like the witch time out. Nice by Domi, nice awareness that that is a thing. Yeah, I think Domi actually is really good at the matchup. Like even if it's a bad matchup definitely for Bayonetta, like he, he practiced that. You can you can see it clearly. Yeah, you can tell, definitely. Oh, 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 man. oh he Among did the kick. Yeah. Well, so far zero stocks in this game have been taken by skill. <laughs> and he did a, a down B. Maybe it was a bait. You don't know. <laughs> Just mind games. Possibly. You don't know. Nice combo there by Musa, even it out to 40%. Oh, and he falls think... down onto the banana so oh, many times. Is... Yeah. Bobby just oh. throwing the banana right under Musa and then covering the afterburner kick angle with the shield. I like that. Because mm -hmm. then when you afterburner kick the shield, you actually fall back like right over the banana. That's so awesome. Um, Musa is playing Bayonetta and Domi is playing Diddy. Yeah, unfortunately did. our scoreboard is pretty old and we don't have Bayonetta on the scoreboard. Um, <laughs> yeah, so no, that's why we put the sand back, back there. Nice stock with the down tilt into up smash. Yeah, I think Musa is a little bit flustered right now. He's letting the timer run on the uh, on the I guess respawn platform. I guess he just needed a moment to calm down. And yeah, mm. he's an emotional player. Which yeah. is sometimes it's really good for him because when he when he when he's on fire, that carries him a lot, mm. uh, and it it can sometimes be unfortunate for him as well. It's it's like a two-edged sword, so. Sometimes you can just get so much out of it if you're emotional because if you have momentum you can do so much. But I love it when commentary gets interrupted by things like is this your control? <laughs> Up smash actually finishes Diddy Kong off and now we're on the last stock of this set. Which I really like. I mean, I lo I'll enjoy this match. I've seen so much Diddy Kong go, I'm dying to see other characters. Yeah. <laughs> that's, the, that's the fourth Diddy Kong match I'm watching today. We need to... We need Palutena to... Get rid of Zero for us. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Zero! Right now looks like Domi has a really fierce grasp on this game and he's trying to get the grab on the platform to finish off oh. this game. Bat within! And it's so oh, scary because you can't oh, die oh, here! Oh, wow, oh, that was almost. so close. Domi is praying for his life there. And he Up and off, see yeah, he, he grabs whiffs, but the witch time lets him get yeah. away with it. I mean, Musa... It, it, it feels like Musa wow, Domi panic takes the game off. It, takes, it, it feels like Musa panicked a bit at the end. He was scared, yeah. He was definitely...